Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you would actually uh, build those CRUD API endpoints yourself, maybe because you didn't set them up during the jumpstart process, maybe you want to build them yourself, maybe you want to do some customization, um, or maybe you just want to see how you would create those. I'll show you in this video. So starting on the API page, I'm going to add an API group, and I'm just going to call it custom, and I'll hit save. And here, now that we're in my custom API group, I'm going to do add an API. And then I'll do these CRUD database operations. And let's do it for the merchant table. So first, I'm going to start out with post, so to create a new merchant. And this all looks good. I'll hit save. So once this opens up, we have this post or create API endpoint. We have my inputs, the merchant name and description. Uh, the function stack, what it's doing, and the response. So I can go ahead and um, you know, run and debug this and just say, uh, I'll just say merchant test and I'll just say uh, description. So I'll go ahead and hit run. And as you can see, we have a new uh, merchant here and I can go into my database and just show you that that was added. Okay, so let's do an update now. I'll go back to my API group, custom. I'll click in, I'll add an API, and I'll do these CRUD database operations again. I'll do it for the merchant table. And then I'll do an edit right here. So this post one, I'll click into here. I'll go ahead and click save. And this anatomy of the update or edit API endpoint is seen here. So let's say for that newly created merchant, let's say I actually want it to be a real place, so I'll say uh, merchant name, High Street Deli, and I'll say really good uh, sandwiches. And then I'll go ahead and hit run. And it was a success, so we updated that ID 4, or edited it. So we have the merchant name is High Street Deli, description is really good sandwiches. Uh, back into my database, I will open that up, and we will see that that was updated from just uh, a merchant and description to an actual high street deli and really good sandwiches. Now back to my API group, and I'm going to go ahead into that custom API page, and I'm going to do add API, and I'll click on the merchant, and I'm going to do um, this get a single merchant record right here. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And this anatomy of this API will open up. So I'm just going to show you, um, you know, I only have those four records. So let's say I do, uh, you know, record 50 right here. So if I go ahead and run this, it'll say, whoops, an error occurred, not found. Um, so that's good to know. That just wanted to show you that that works properly, even though we're creating a custom one. But if I go ahead and uh, type in ID 4, we should get that high street deli that I just created. And that is correct. So I'm going to go back now and I'm going to add another API. I'll do these CRUD database operations. We'll stick with the merchant table and I'm going to go ahead and do get to get all. And once this opens up, to get or just pull all the records is pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and hit run, and we can see all four of my merchants, Firestone, Splash Cafe, Frank's, and High Street Deli, uh, all came back correctly. And the last one that I want to show you is just the delete one. So into these CRUD database operators, back into the merchant table, into this delete. And once delete opens, we see that it needs an ID as an input. And I can go ahead and hit run, and just to show you that um, this is working correctly. If I put in another ID number that we don't have, say 48, uh, we'll get an error because it's not found. So instead, I'll go ahead and delete uh, High Street Deli. And it said it was success. Everything ran successfully back into my database table and into my merchant record. And as you can see, uh, High Street Deli was actually deleted. So that was it for you know creating these CRUD API points uh, custom. You know, maybe you want to uh, build these yourself and have them separate from uh, the basic operators that were automatically generated because you want to do uh, some customization or play around, but you don't want to screw those up. 
or um, maybe you just wanted to see how you would do those normally. So uh, with that, I'll see you in the next video.